Okay, hello everyone, hope you're doing well. And today we're gonna continue our stats and we're kind of starting now the year two statistics, or at least for me. So we're gonna look at a continuation of all the tests that we've done so far, but kind of moving on to what happens when we add more and more variables. What, how much more data can we actually get from this? So we've got a question here. Basically, we're trying this social media website so just Facebook gives the people opportunity to manage their self-presentation in the world. Then we're gonna, we're gonna measure user behavior here. And that's me measured by number of selfies. And we're gonna, we're gonna see how age, gender, firstly, and then extroversion narcissism affect the number of selfies that people post. And then we can also do that for the frequency of changing Facebook status. We're gonna do simple and multiple regression here. So regression, if you think about it, is kind of a continuation from correlation, but it gives us much more data about how each variable actually relates to the whole correlation. So if we jump straight into Jamovi and see what's up. Okay, so we've got our data here. So we've got age, gender, extroversion, narcissism, and we don't need to worry about this column. We just worry about selfies for this one. Okay, so we're in here. And so we're basically, we're gonna be seeing how this selfies is influenced by age, gender, and then extroversion, narcissism. So how do we do that in Jamovi? As you guessed, we're gonna do regression. And again, if you're doing correlation, you'd plug that, but today we're doing linear regression. Okay, so we've got our view here. So first things first, we've got a dependent variable. So the dependent variable, as you recall, is the thing we measure. So if we put selfies in there, because that's what we're measuring today, and uh, it will take some time to load, but we'll uh, leave that there. So then we, first things, because that's what the question asks, we're gonna do age. And then uh, because gender is kind of a nominal, we need to put it into factors here, that these will pop up here and there will be block one for this example. Hopefully it uh, loads up pretty quickly. Okay, so it's finally loaded up. Just make sure when you put these in, if you go to then model builder here, the first thing, and just make sure age and gender are in this first block, otherwise the, the thing may not load. But here we are, we've got data here. We, what we want to look at is this R squared statistic. And that's, uh, this is basically what how much of the variance in the data. So if we think about number of selfies, how much does age and gender influence the variation in how many selfies people take? And in this example, we times this value by 100 to get a percentage. So therefore we can say 36.2% of the variation in the number of selfies can be explained by age and gender. And then we've got this little table here. And we've got this estimate is basically what gives us the equation of the line. So in correlation, all we got was a correlation coefficient. But in this case, we can actually see how much each of these variables influences the number of selfies. So age just seems to have a negative correlation in that sense, as I guess the more you age, the less selfies you take. And then we've got gender as well. Can't lie to you, I'm not really sure how this gender works exactly, but obviously Jamovi gives it some sort of numerical value and is then determined. So in this case, we're comparing males to females. Okay, so this is what we have here, but we obviously need a bit more data because we don't, right now we don't really know if this data is significant or not. So if we go into model fit, we also need this F test statistic. So Again, this is, if you think about our five steps, this is the kind of the value telling us like a t-statistic kind, of, uh, kind of thing. And it also gives us this p-value as well. And what this p-value tells us is because it's below 0 0.05, we can say that these values here, the age and gender, significantly explain the variation in the data by 36.2%. So right now we have basically everything we need to report. So this is, will be, I guess, kind of considered simple regression. And yeah, let's have a look at the answer. So how I phrased it is multiple regression show that age and gender significantly explains 36.2% of the variance in selfies, as we saw by this R squared statistic here. And we've got this F value, and these are the degrees of freedom that is again in Jamovia, so two decoy 271, and our P statistic, again, telling us the data significant. Then we can add this special regression equation, uh, again, why this is better than correlation, because we can add this age, gender, and then this value here is kind of your y-intercept. Doesn't always make sense, because uh, I guess if your age is zero and your gender is zero, then your number of selfies is 19. But yeah, that basically, it basically tells you how much uh, influenced by age and gender. Then if we look at the question, we're asked about the effect of extroversion narcissism and how much and that improves. So what you can do, 
one thing you can do is simply pop these in and that will hopefully update okay so it's updated okay so first thing you can so this is one way of doing it and what you can do is basically repeat this paragraph again but using different values so you can say now you can say age gender extraversion narcissism explains 38.1 percent of the data and then you report the same the same data here and you write your new equation at the bottom. So you're basically just doing the same thing by you adding extraversion narcissism into the equation. The other way you can do it, if you go down here and take these out, you can add a new block and put extraversion narcissism in here. Well, not this one, go away and hopefully updates. Okay. So what this basically does is allows you to compare the two models before you added extraversion narcissism. So this first one that we just reported and the second one when we added extraversion and narcissism. So at the beginning, our age and gender explained 36.2% of the variance, but now because we added extraversion and narcissism, yeah, now it explains 38.1. And we've got this different values here. So we, what you could do, do what I did, where you reported the first one, and then what you can do is report the second one, just adding gender and extraversion, uh, saying that, blah 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 these four explain our 38.1 and you've got this F new f statistic here which has these values and just pop them in and then write your equation again that's seen uh, here however what you can also do is say that extraverted narcissism improved the explanation of variance in data by 1.88 percent uh, but then you have to report these different uh, statistics here so you've got this different f compared to these ones. And your degrees of freedom, is, as you can see, it's our kind of the first one here compared to the second one. And we also have this different p-value. But again, because it's below 0 0.05, it's still significant. And then you would also report your equation um, the same way. So yeah, there's two ways of doing it. This is how I reported it. And yeah, that'll basically get you full marks. And yeah, you can paste this table in uh, if you'd like. And what you would do for the second part of the question, so the frequency of changing Facebook status, is you would literally do the same thing, but instead of selfies, just put in status change. And again, just go through age and gender, and then add in extraversion narcissism later, either by putting all of these. So if you look, if you put both of these in the same block, then it would just give you, if you put all of these, and just remove that, if you put all of these in the same block, it will just give you one big table with um, the data. So you can either do that and just have one R, a different R statistic. You can again do it in two steps where you do the block way. But yeah, I prefer kind of do it the two separate ways so you have a clear distinction. But yeah, whoever floats your boat. And obviously Jamovi does all of this for you, which is very nice. So that was a quick intro on multiple regression and starting the year two statistics. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check the description for any links you'd like to try. It really helps out. And uh, let's try guess to 100 subscribers. If you've got any questions about this, just pop it in the comments and I'll do my best to explain it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and have a good day. Cheerio.